And tonight, boaters stuck on the Caloosahatchee River for more than 24 hours after a broken railroad bridge kept vessels from passing through. Right. Fox 4's Colton Chavez joins us live from the Riverside tonight with what boaters say is more than an inconvenience, especially heading into the holiday weekend, Colton. That's absolutely right, Shari, but maybe a bit of good news. If you can check out what's behind me, you can see that railroad bridge that we're talking about sticking completely up. Now, the railroad company couldn't tell me whether or not that the, the issue has been fixed. They said that it was a gear problem that was keeping the bridge shut down. But now, as you can see, that bridge is up. But earlier today, I spoke with one captain who brought 11 other passengers out on a boat yesterday and was stranded until today. Let's go ahead and listen to his story. We had a lot of people on open boats with no covering and Florida sun is brutal. The brutal circumstances for Captain Ron Sheridan and his passengers. We left uh, uh, the captain's house at 8.30. After what was supposed to be a quick trip on the water for the Mary Mariners boating group turned into more than a day stuck on the boat for Captain Ron. After eating lunch, uh, we found the bridge down. More than 24 hours later, Captain Ron says through that bridge is the only way home. Fort Myers Beach Coast Guard saying the railroad bridge, which belongs to Seminole Gulf Railway, couldn't be raised to let boats through due to a damaged gear. And no one's answering. We can't give you an update. Left without answers and passengers he's responsible for. My wife, Charo. Uh, she's a uh, disability. Captain Ron decided to dock at the boathouse restaurant where he had to tell 49 other people they needed to call an Uber to get home, but not for Ron. I just said to the other folks, I need part of my crew behind me whenever the bridge opens. Captain Ron and Bob decided to stay with the boat, eventually sleeping on board overnight. After meeting with Captain Ron, I spoke with the Seminole Gulf Railway. Hey, so just spoke with the railway um, and the bridge is up right now. Good news that didn't last. After that call, the Seminole Gulf Railway said they had to lower the bridge once again to finish the repairs. It feels like a, a three hour tour on Gilligan's Island. Only we didn't shipwreck the boat, we still have the boat. <laughs> really kind of laughing through this entire experience as you just heard and a bit of good news, uh, good news as I said going into Memorial Day weekend Captain Ron says boating is huge for Memorial Day weekend he's been doing this thing since he was seven years old so some good news behind me so that way more people can get out on the waters this weekend live from the Caloosahatchee Colton Chavez Fox 4.